Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of January 1793, former French king Louis XVI was executed by guillotine at the Place de la Révolution in Paris. Louis's trial began on the 11th of December 1792 and he was found guilty of treason by 693 of the National Convention's 721 deputies on the 15th of January. However, a much narrower majority of 387 to 334 voted for the death sentence three days later. His death warrant was finalised on the 20th of January, and his execution was scheduled for the next day. A number of factors had contributed to him being found guilty, of which the flight de Varennes and the events of the 10th of August at the Tuileries Palace were the most significant. On the morning of his execution, Louis woke at 5am, after which he made his confession and attended Mass. Accompanied by the Irish-born priest Father Henry Essex Edgeworth, his carriage left the Temple Prison at around 9am. 80,000 armed men lined the route to the Place de la Révolution, where the crowd of around 100,000 people had assembled to see the execution. Louis is reported to have calmly taken off his coat at the foot of the scaffold and, as he stood next to the guillotine, attempted to address the crowd. His speech, however, was drowned out by the beating of the soldiers' drums. He was then seized, had his hands quickly tied and was placed under the blade. The blade of the guillotine fell at 10.22am, after which it's reported that a number of members of the public rushed forward to dip their handkerchiefs in Louis's blood. His body was later buried and covered with quicklime to stop people from obtaining relics. His wife, Marie Antoinette, was executed eight months later. (laughs) 